Here's another way to see that this was the maximum energy over here. Remember, this was the point that we let go of it. So this was the amplitude. So this was the maximum expansion, right? So this is the place where, this is the place where x is biggest. This is the place where x is biggest. Well, if x is biggest, u has to be biggest. Wherever x is biggest, u has to be biggest. Um, so that's the other way to see that when we let go of it, it had the most energy stored in it. What did we say about the speed when we let go of it? That's why the kinetic energy was zero. What can we say about the speed here? Well, would you say that the kinetic energy here is at a maximum, a minimum, or intermediate? Because we put all the energy into it. There's no way the kinetic energy could be 11 joules, right? Because we, we only have 10 joules. So this is the maximum kinetic energy. So how about the speed? Is that maximum, minimum, or intermediate? Maximum. How do we know? Well, what's the formula for kinetic energy? So yeah, if k is at a maximum, 1 half mv squared, v must be at a maximum. If, uh, so this is where we also have the maximum speed. The natural length is when we're going as quickly as possible. Why are we going so fast if we're at the natural length? Well, our inertia is carrying us through there. Even though the spring would be perfectly happy to stay at the natural length, because it was already going so fast, its inertia carries it straight through the natural length. So when we let go of it, all the energy was potential, and there was no kinetic energy. And then we keep going faster and faster and faster until all the energy is kinetic, and there's no potential energy over here. So where is the, when does the maximum kinetic energy happen? Um, the maximum kinetic energy happens when um, x is 0. At the natural length. And what is the maximum potential? would be the maximum expansion mm -hmm. and the maximum compression. Mm -hmm. So I haven't drawn the maximum compression here, but when we get to the maximum compression, all the energy will be back in potential energy again, and we'll be changing direction, and the kinetic energy will be zero again. So at maximum expansion, all the energy is potential, and none is kinetic. Mm -hmm. Then at the natural length, all the energy is kinetic, and none is potential. Mm -hmm. And then as we start compressing again, we start slowing down. We know the spring is going to slow down as it starts compressing over here, because it can't compress forever. Mm -hmm until eventually the kinetic energy goes to zero again, and all the energy is potential. And then we're going to go back and forth. OK. So uh, let's see. How does this relate to our flow chart? What's the relationship between the amplitude and the spring energy. Well, does the amplitude, uh, so the amplitude, remember, is the maximum displacement. The amplitude is the maximum uh, displacement. So, helps you to figure out the maximum spring energy. You could use the amplitude to find the maximum spring energy. The maximum spring energy is 1 half times k times the amplitude squared, uh, because a is the biggest that the displacement could be over here. These videos are offered on a pay-what-you-like basis. You can pay for the use of the videos at my website. There is a link to my website in the info box. The address is www.freelance-teacher.com slash videos.htm or you can just use the link in the info box. By the way, I also offer tutoring via Skype 
and you can find more information about that Skype tutoring service at my website. Thanks.